Previously on Get A Move On, we gave a tour of our trailer. We moved in all of our belongings and our dear four-legged companions. Then we immediately headed up to beautiful Lewiston, Idaho for a musical gig. Adjusting to trailer life living is going to be quite an adjustment and a challenge. We just got back from Lewiston and it's a disaster in our trailer. Our animals thought that we abandoned them and they were so stoked to see us. But it's crazy in here. Our cat was not doing very well at all. It was hard to tell what was really going on with him aside from being elderly. Thank you, Daddy. Like his body aches. Do you want to take him tonight? Uh -oh. After a rough night and more rest, Frank was slowly starting to feel much better. It's hard to take any kind of trips when your animals get to that age. So happy to see you doing so much better, Frank. We're not ready to lose you yet. It had only been a few days since we moved in and life did not slow down one bit. We had a very busy week ahead of us, all of which were enjoyable activities that we chose to partake in. So right now I'm meeting Brandon Freeman at um, Bart CPEC Photography. Uh, to talk about shooting my music video and checking out the space. So my name is Brandon Freeman. I am a filmmaker here in Boise, Idaho. I've been doing this thing for about 20 plus years. I've made about 30 short films, two feature films, a couple of music videos, and I'm excited to work with Natalie to get this vision off the ground. I was impressed with this space and the photo wall was very, very cool. Coming soon to social media near you will be my next music video. Wait for it. Eastside Tavern. It's been far too long since I've seen you, especially since you relocated, but it felt so good to be back. Later on in the week, I was long overdue to get my hair did. I was so excited to get a trim and fresh color from a gal I've been going to for about 10 years now. Her name is Alana, owner of Lunar Hair Salon in Boise, Idaho. If you are interested in her services, I linked her social media down below. So check her out because she does amazing work. We are Going to Naomi Salm's album release party. How's it going? And Zach is old and decrepit. Hey, stop it, alright? Yada, 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 yada. That's what it sounds like. Words become melodies. Her studio is going to be awesome. We had a blast attending Naomi's album release party. Naomi's music is witty, relatable, and fun. Her singer-songwriter style is 90s influenced, sounding like Michelle Branch, Sheryl Crow, Alanis Morissette, just to name a few. I also linked her socials down below, so be sure to check her out. Flashback to episode 5 when I purchased a couple housewarming slash trailer warming gifts. I purchased another less appropriate gift, but it suits us. And our place is still a disaster. This is me relishing in how messy our place is. Living the dream. 
Was it your dream to live in a trailer? successful. She just absolutely gobbled hers and mine's all gone. It's a nice room. We're almost done packing. Well, no, we're not. But Natalie's been busting her booty off and it's coming along. We've learned long ago that it's more effective if I just stay the heck out of Natalie's way. For the most part. I help her when she asks me to help. Otherwise, I stay out of her way. I would appreciate your help. I am not an I'll organized... I'll tell you what to do. Exactly. I'm not an organized individual. I know, but you can be in there and I can just tell you what to do. I don't like the sound of that idea. <laughs> I think we should just pay people to do stuff for us all the time and not be human beings and do our own thing. No? Okay. It is the month of October and I love this time of year. Because this is such a small space, being a 41 foot trailer, decorations have to be sparse. This was the only way I could think of decorating with minimal effort and easy cleanup. You can already tell Frank is feeling better because his appetite is back. That and he keeps following me around like a little puppy. It's looking pretty spooky in here, in a very, very cute way. Zach could care less about all this, but he knows it makes me happy. So we don't have an easily accessible neighborhood to walk in anymore, which forces us to get out, get moving, and continue to enrich our animals' lives. Can you say, get a move on? We have to be sure to make time for these outdoor walks. Otherwise, what's the point of having animals? Nice, Zach. Stay tuned for next week when we have fun celebrating a couple birthdays golfing. 
and hang out and head up to Idaho City for a nice soaking retreat. If you like our content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thank you so much for watching. Get a move on.